Hey everybody. Hope you had a good day yesterday. I had a good day. Um, um, yeah, let's just get into what I wore today or yesterday. Uh, the shelf picked a canoe by Dana. Um, there's so much I want to say about this, but I got to keep it quick. Um, it's, it's somewhat nostalgic for me. And I imagine for a lot of other people too, it's made in like 1932 or 37 or something like that. And originally from what I read was a, was a woman's perfume. I read this years ago. I don't know for sure. Could just be internet mumbo jumbo, but whatever. Um, doesn't smell like a woman's perfume. Could it be a unisex perfume? Yeah, but still leading a little bit masculine. Um, it's a masculine floral, basically, is what I get from it. I get a lot of uh, lavender and carnation, a little bit of rose, uh, some geranium. Um, and I don't know the notes. This is just what I'm picking up. Uh, there's some vanilla in there, a nice undertone, sweetness vanilla, which surprised me, actually. I don't remember that being there, but I haven't worn it in a little while. And I've worn so much in between that you just kind of lose track. Um, but yeah, from the, but the big thing I get from this, it's like a, almost a baby wipe, baby powder kind of scent on me, um, with a sweet undertone of vanilla through very nice scent. Uh, doesn't smell, smells classic, but it doesn't smell dated. I've talked about the difference before. There is a difference. Um, completely wearable today. Um. Uh, so how did I wear it? Uh, well, I put, first I put on some of the aftershave. Uh, then I put moisturizer, four sprays in my moisturizer. Now this is where I normally, when I wear this stuff, I put the baby powder on because it helps enhance the smell for me. Uh, but I didn't do this because it's a review type deal. So I just want the clone to work on its own. So then I took it and put one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, shirt on, one, two, three. Um, this isn't a beast performer, and I don't think it ever was, and I don't think it was ever designed to be. I could be wrong. I don't have a bottle from the 30s, 40s, or 50s. But uh, it's not a bad performer either, especially when you consider it's the type of cologne it is. It's an eau de cologne. It's a fresh, citrusy, powdery, floral scent. So there's not... You don't think those would last, but it gives most... Modern, fresh colognes that run for their money in the performance-wise. Uh, projection's a good solid 45 minutes to an hour out there, about an arm's length. Um, and off the top, you get, like I said, I get hit with some citrus. Um, probably just bergamot. I don't know. It could be lemon because it is kind of astringent. Maybe a bit of both. Um, and that astringentness lasts for about 5 or 10 minutes, and then the kind of goes away. It's still citrusy, but it's not sharp citrusy and uh almost immediately after that i get i get the baby powder type vibe the florals the powdery lavenders and, and geraniums and roses definitely carnation start coming up with that undertone of vanilla and that pretty much the scent from start to finish after that and um I got about five hours on it um could reapply after four realistically, but I got about five hours after it. The rejection, like I said, lasts for a solid 45 minutes to an hour. Then it kind of comes in pretty quick and it's a skin scent. And it loses a lot of the, the citrus then, a lot of the florals. And you're just left with that powdery, baby powder-esque powdery scent with a soft, sweet vanilla underneath. Compliments, I got one compliment. Uh... It was actually a weird compliment because when I say baby powder, some people disagree, but this girl didn't. Uh, I walked in and I was there for about 10 or 15 minutes and um, uh, she uh, said, did somebody spill baby powder? Because we have baby powder for sale at the store, of course. And uh, I was only about 10 feet away from her. I don't even think it was that far, maybe about five feet. And... Uh, it's like, no, no, I think that's me. She goes, oh, let me, let me smell. So, oh, yeah, no, it smells like baby powder. I said, thank you. So she liked it. And then I asked everybody, and of course, what I got a lot towards the end of it, the last couple hours was 
Uh, ooh, vanilla. Ooh, vanilla. So there's a sweet vanilla there, but it's not overly sweet. They've got to be right up close to you. So that was a day with. Um, get a cheap five, ten bucks now, I believe, and give it a try. If, if definitely, if you like classic scents, um, this isn't going to change your mind if you don't like them. But if you do like classic scents and you haven't worn this one, tried this one, definitely worth it. Uh, if not, yeah, just stare, stare clear of it. You know, it's not going to change your mind. All right, guys, that's it. Peace, love, be good to each other.